Morgan M. Morganson's Date with Destiny by Metaphorist <clears throat> Capricitous Califrag Morgan M. Morganson stood in the long room of his four walls, narcissing himself in the double glass. He horizontalized his neck bow and let a long steam of air out of his face hole. He was ready to lethoriate, or at least ready as he'd ever be. The eat room was all a shadow with the tiny flames of wax sticks. Our man Morgan unstood onto a person holder and waited as the time teller ticked and talked on. Tardily, the saxifragus personette swavered through the wall hole. Her head front was polypainted with faux face, lips cherried to the max, sea globe hairs and plus to twin the limbs of arachno monsters. Morgan lip lifted, twittery at the personette. He re stood and presented her with a person holder, upon which she speedily settled her back cushions. Merry pre night, tittered Morgan. You look verily procreational. Why, thank you, Triple M, as do you. Soaped and suited, you are quite the sea treat. Morgan pinkified as the food bringer apparated, penguin dressed. The gent was simply seeable as a scog, his down looking head front formed as if he ever had a face hole full of sour yellows. The eat room paid slave person pawed a duo of eat lists to Morgan and the personette, then disapparated. The potential procreators Sea Globe scanned the eat lists chatlessly. They picked their eat plates, and the food bringer reapparated, primarily in questing Morgan on his desirated eat plate. For me, the body of a bunny baby, if you please, Morgan proclamates. And how would you preferate your bunny baby, sir? Black, brown, or bleedy? Bleedy, please. Morgan worded. He lip-lifted at the food-bringer, and then targeted his sea-globes at the personette. He was shocked to see her sea-globes dripping a little salt liquid. And for you, personette, enquested the food-penguin. Blub-hiding, she unquested. The laborious option for me. Morgan spit-swallowed and loosed the top flaps of his chest-coverer. The food-bringer held in a snorkel-flilt, and worded, And for wet... For liquid, we will have the juice of old red grapes, please. Very old. Morgan speedily shut a solo sea globe at the food bringer. The food penguin boomeranged the gesture, then disapparated with a smize. After another chatless word gap, the eats apparated. The food penguin citrusly unhid Morgan's eat plate. On it unlived the corpse of a bunny baby. Its manicular rabbit ears as yet unremoved. Its olfactory organ buttonish and evacute. The personette yurched loudly. A puddle of pre-puke ascending into her face hole as the eat-ready fluff pet met her sea globes. The personette's eats were a plate forest, a feast of foliage, a fleshless food pile. Morgan gaishly subservietted the bereaved bunny, and post seated to chomp the accessoral greenery duetting it. The personette lip lifted, amorated by Morgan's sacrificious herbivorosity. Post bunny boycott. The word gaps filled fastly. The personette flirtated lavishly and tilted Morgan words, displaying her front cushions bashlessly. Morgan was full heart butterflated by this floricious familian. Haberdashed and hornified, he tittered as she toe tangled with him sub table. Speedily they slurped their grape liquid, and soonly their person paws paired table side, glowed by the flamey wax sticks. Food bags full, they moneyed the food penguin and uprighted themselves. The personette had desirated to subvide the debt, but Morgan M. Morganson swayed his top bulb pendulumically no, and that was that. Out in the no walls, the duet locked sea globes, top bulb deep in procreational emotation. The personette touched her bottom lip with her top chompers and tilted Morgan words once more. Morgan, pinkified, shut his sea globe covers and vicinitated his top bulb to the personette's face hole. An ultimated tilt Morgan words and the pair were lip-locked. Morgan M. Morganson almost love exploded with butterflation as the floricious femalian tongue tangled with him. Through the hard clear of the eat room, the formerly falsituous food penguin lifted his citrus lips at the passion-paired persons. How could a humanian fail to be emotated by such a celebratious encoupling? And that moon up, when Morgan M. Morganson horizontalized himself on his sleep platform, for once, it was not a lonely.